Okay, now I've got it installed on the layout here. Uh, what I did was I cut that foam board down a little bit, made a slot, and glued it into place here. And I've hooked it up to this Logic Railtech signal animator board. Now what this board does is it's got a photo cell in the track, which I put over here, just opposite the signal. And when the photo cell gets covered, the Logic Railtech board will send out a stop signal across these three wires here to the dual three-way which will change the aspect to stop or red and then after a uh, 10 second delay it turns it back to green so it, it basically is a easy way to simulate 90 percent of what a signal does um, it turns red when the train comes by and then it stays red until the train gets out of the block. However, on um, it's not a true signaling system, but um, it's an easy way to um, simulate a signal on your layout. Which is all I want to do here. I'm not really using the signals to control the train so much as I am a nice animation device. Hey, it's a few days later. I finished the scenery. I put in a nice little cribbage wall here in front of the servo so that if I have to get in there later to fix it I can get in there and now I've got a train waiting on the outskirts here at Colfax it's looking at the green signal and it's ready to go so let's pump her up notice as it goes over the signal the photocell went to red now let's speed the train up the hill Okay, now after the boost has passed, the signal should wait a little while, and then it should turn to yellow, and then it'll turn to green.